Hey what's up guys welcome to fun gap youtube channel and in today's video we will learn about how to pass data from one activity to another activity so here you can see that i have created one activity and i will type some word and click on send data button and here you can see that on the next activity our data have been transferred successfully so video is going to be more important and before start please i request you to subscribe our youtube channel to stay up to date with latest programming videos so first of all we have to create a new project select mpt activity click next here we have to give the application name like i'm going to give intent make sure to select the Kotlin language and press on finish button so we have created a simple android studio project now we will cl click on rest folder and layout and open our main activity and here we have to drag and drop a plain text so we can get input from the user and uh, i'm going to constrain it vertically and horizontally as well so you can see that our view is constrained vertically and horizontally now i'm going to give its width to match parent and we have to give some margin from right side and also give some margin from left side drag and drop a button here constrain it that it to the top and we have to also give some margin top margin top would be 20 dp and uh, send data constrain it okay guys our user interface is complete and uh, i'm going to so this is the id of our edit text i'm going to change it edt user input and edt uh, btn send data we have to copy this id and paste this at this position and also at this position also at this position now we have to open our main activity and uh, declare and initialize our button and edit text so we have to type here private latent net var btn send data colon is equal to button and next we have to type here btn late in it var edt mean edit text user input colon edit text and inside our on create method we have to initialize our button and edit text so i'm going to type here btn send data is equal to find view by id r dot id dot btn send data and edt user input is equal to find view by id r dot id dot edt user input now we have to set an on click listener to our button btn send data dot set on click listener uh, sorry we have to choose this on click listener now inside our on click listener we have to pass an intent here so well intent is equal to intent this and uh, from here we have to create a new activity so to create a new activity right click on app folder new activity and mpt activity i'm going to give name this second activity and make sure you have select coding language from here and press on finish button our second activity have been created now again go to main activity and here we have to type second activity double colon class dot java intent dot put extra so this function is used to pass data from one activity to another activity first of all we have to type here a name like username by using this name we will access data to the, our next activity and at this position uh, we have to pass a data like i can uh, pass data uh, muhammad fahim hassan but in our case we have to get input from our user so you have to type here edt user input dot text dot to string and last we have to type here start activity and pass the intent that's it our main activity code is completed now we have to open our second activity and drag a text view here constrain it horizontally and vertically as well and give an id to our text view like tv result open the coding activity and here first of all we have to declare our variable like private late net var edt uh, sorry tv output text view you can give any name to your text view and here we have to uh, initialize this tv output is equal to find view by id r dot r dot id dot tv result and now we have to create a variable here like val and uh, result i just have created a variable and here i have to type intent dot get string extra and here we have to type our variable name which variable again op open the main activity 
so you can see that this name we just have to copy this name and paste it at this position and now we have to just tv output dot set text dot text uh, sorry guys there was a problem in my code here we don't have to type only text we have to type here text view and at this position we have to type type tv output dot text is equal to and we have to type our this variable result by doing this our the value which will store in our result variable will be set to our text view in our uh, second activity so our code have been completed let me just run the app so i can show you the output here just we have to type cast this one to remove the error that's it now just let me run the app so i can show you the output okay guys here you can see that our app have been run successfully and here i will type demo data one two three press on send data button and here you can see that in our next activity i mean second activity the word demo data one two three have been typed so by doing this technique you can pass data from one activity to another so i hope you must enjoy this video and please subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with latest programming videos